Hey, it's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about this portable uh, tri-screen monitor. So it adds two screens to your existing uh, laptop monitor. So great for travel, great for uh, if you are just you know, working in a different area, like the kitchen table or something, you can add some monitors. I usually have this large monitor behind me in addition to my laptop, and I find it really difficult to do work on just this monitor. So this is like the ideal situation for when I travel, for if I'm working on video projects where I can have multiple things on. Let's take a look at it. We're gonna show you what it looks like set up. I've already got it all plugged in, and then we'll take it back apart and show you the compact nature of it so that you can travel with this thing. So let's go ahead and go back into my screen here. Now the cool thing with this is you can, with the Mac, you can have two separate extensions of the desktop. You can mirror one uh, to the main or mirror these two on the outside. So there's a number of configurations that you can do. It also supports a wide range of resolutions and it's up to 1200p uh, full HD. And these are 14 inch monitors. They have multiple connection options. So I'm currently connected with USB-C on both sides and that carries both the power and the video signal. It also comes with uh, a HDMI to mini HDMI, two of these cables. So it's a total of six cables in here. There's two HDMI to mini HDMI and two USB, normal USB to USB-C. So I guess that's like USB 3 or USB, I think it's USB 3 to USB-C to plug into the monitor here. And those will carry power uh, as well as video or can be paired with the HDMIs. So um, works for a 13 inch to a 16 inch laptop. There is a limitation on the MacBooks. It does not support the M1 and M2 series chips. However, it does support the M1 Pro and the M1 Max chips. I have the M1 Max on here and it works terrific. So very excited about it. Let me just kind of show you how this thing works. There are a couple clips on the top that help it rest on the top of your monitor. What I'm going to do first here is I'm just going to go ahead and unhook my power. So my USB-C, which I fed through the edges there, could have come underneath just as easy. And here, and then here, and here. On the back, there are a couple of metal rings. I'm going to pull those apart, lift that off. There's also a stand, which is adjustable. I'm going to slide that back in. And then we're going to close this up. Let's see. I haven't done this too many times, so let's just make sure we close those two clips there. Oh. That folds in like so, and then like that. So that is the compact nature of that, which is then going to have this little piece of foam that goes in to keep it from getting damaged. Fold that out, that out. These clips then go like so. So that is the travel size. It is about a little bit bigger and it's it's not super lightweight, but it's it's uh not bad and definitely worth I think the weight to be able to carry and have that additional monitor there. So again, setup. We're gonna open this up. Take our case off, which is magnetic. Set this behind. And as I mentioned, there's a couple little finger hooks there. Flip out the two pieces on the top. Put down the stand. Just for added support, we're going to 
go ahead and plug in our USB-C. 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 Power's right up. And in this case, for my video editing, I can just go ahead and do this. I've got a screen that popped over here. Let's put up Spotify over here, maybe. We had PowerPoint open earlier. There we go. There we go. And that's it. I mean, pretty nice. These can fold in if you want them folded in. Maybe for a little bit of privacy, but it, is, it does kind of weigh this forward. So I think it's better to kind of keep it out like that, but pretty excited about this. Again, it is the OIIWAK. Highly recommend it. This is going to be great. Looking forward to using it. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.